Scorpio, welcome to your January, February 2017 mid-month financial tarot reading from Island Girl Tarot. I hope everybody is having a great Friday the 13th. Um, I uh, am going to publish a weekend tarot draw too, so be on the lookout for that. Tomorrow at 1030 Central Standard Time, I'll be on Island Girl Tarot on Facebook. Um, if y'all would please join me there, that'd be great. I'll draw a card for you if you're in my chat room. What else? You can reach me, islandgirl2008 at gmail.com. That's islandgirl with two L's on the end of girl at gmail.com. Um, Scorpio, and I'm Scorpio rising. Scorpio rising. Scorpio. The bottom of the deck is the hangman. The hangman can mean a lot of different things. He can be a spiritual awakening card. He can be a pause card if you're in the middle of a spread and you're looking for movement. He can be a lack of movement. So let's see how he plays in. Scorpios. Now I will tell you all, okay. So glad. I did, I'm a Virgo, and when I did our, Vir our Virgo, I had like seven out of nine plus the bottom of the deck were all major arcanas, and it was crazy, and so this kind of started out with some of the same cards, but, um, all right, Scorpio rising, yay, Scorpios, um, I feel like This is you is a water sign. I'm just trying to see. I feel like you've just been feeling pretty good. Things have been kind of, you know, have calmed down. You've got a little bit of maybe savings. You you know, you've got at least a good financial plan to where you're going. Um, you feel completely in control. The center of the reading is the emperor. So, I mean, that's just a, a card of... Um, well, I mean, you know, it's it's having your stuff together. It's it's having a really good idea. And especially since the Emperor is right next to the Nine of Pentacles, which is a card of uh, self-sufficiency. It's a It can be a, a person that works out of their own home. Uh, I can see this also as a veterinarian card uh, because it is somebody that works and has something to do with hands-on with their environment, animals, animals. Uh, um, Farming, plants, you know, anything to do with, with their environment. Um, and it's also got the three of pentacles on the other side. So it, it could definitely be uh, this is you as the emperor. You probably do have your own business or you're the CEO. It could even be to that level. This could be a very wealthy uh, uh, type person at this point, uh, Scorpio. Um, and you plan very well. And you are, uh, you're act, you, you, you've actually planned very well, and you're excited about where you're at financially. Uh, and everything's good except for the last two cards, which is the strength and the five of pentacles. And that just tells me that you're going to have. And the strength card dealing with emotions, I mean, it's fire energy, you know, Leo, fire. Uh, I, I just feel like there's going to be some sort of an emotional or a creative unexpected expense um, that you may have to take care of, but you've got the money to take care of it. But it is going to make you pause and, and maybe make you reconsider exactly how you have everything taken care of in your finances and in the bank and, and 401ks and so forth. Everything's good. You're, I mean, this is not going to be anything that you can't handle. It's just going to be something's going to come up that's going to cause you to go back and relook at everything. And, of course, 
we've just come out of Mercury retrograde. We've got some eclipses coming and some other things happening and taxes and, you know, so it's, it's that time of year anyway to go back through your financial stuff and get your financial house in order, you know, um, until next year. So, uh, Scorpio, it's, it's really a nice reading. Um, if, you're unsure about anything. To me, the hermit is always a card of going in and meditating. Go, you have the answers within. If you're unsure about something, some in your spirit guides say, you know, am I supposed to do this? Should I do that? You know, whatever the question may be. They'll, they're here to help you. They're all around you. That's one thing that that card re really has come to symbolize for me is, is that when it comes up that you've got people to talk to. You've just got to go with them to hear the answers. So, all right, Scorpio, I hope everybody has a great weekend. Thanks so much for your likes, shares, and subscribe. Islandgirl2008 at gmail.com. Again, these are general readings. Check your rising and your moon sign. Um, and these applies, girls, guys, whatever your gender. I always say whatever your position is in the relationship. So, everybody take care. Bye-bye.